Hey there, Capricorns. Welcome to your September love reading, September 2018. I want to start off by telling everyone, thank you so much for all of you who have followed, commented, liked, subscribed. Those who have wished me a happy birthday, thank you very much. A big thank you to all of those that have sent me donations, birthday gifts. I mean, you guys are the best. Thank you so much. You have no idea how much this means to me. All of your support, all my new subscribers, thank you so much. Like, I can't even, I mean, I could say thank you a million times. It wouldn't be enough. Um, but yes, just you guys are the best. And I just wanted to say thanks. If you're not already following me on Instagram, I am there at Instagram.com slash Virgo Angel Tarot. I post daily and do weekly live readings there. And um, if you'd like a personal reading for those that have messaged me, no, my email is Virgo Angel Tarot at gmail.com. <clears throat> and so let's get started. We're going to get started with the singles reading what is going on with capricorn singles <clears throat> please remember that this is a general love reading not all messages may or you know may or may not resonate with everyone so just take what does leave what doesn't if you feel the need to view other videos for your sun moon rising videos for a much more in-depth clearer message for you however it may apply <clears throat> go ahead and subscribe and like my other videos i upload <clears throat> i'm uploading as often as i can if you'd like me to tap into your personal love energies go ahead and email <clears throat> email me for a personal reading let's get started singles we are talking about straight up singles capricorn what is going on in their love life they got any potentials or are they blocked? What is going on? Capricorn, September 2018, straight up single Capricorns. Very soon. Clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. So it could be that you've been straight up single for some time because you're just not sure which path to take. It's like in, in one aspect, you like being single, you like doing you, you like being able to, you know, come and go, see whoever you want, hang out with whoever you want. At the same time, you're missing that partnership, you know, having someone there with you, having your partner in crime. And so you go back and forth from, do I continue to date casually and hang out with my friends? Friends, or do I want someone steady in my life, a partner who I can be with, who I can trust? And I feel, as I said, who I can trust. Look at that. And so I feel, now that that trust card came out, I feel as though the reason why you've hesitated in being in a serious partnership or relationship it's not so much that you don't have the offers or that you don't have the potential partners out there right you've attracted some great potential partners but there may have been some trust issues in the past whether it was you that had the trust issues and trusting a new partner opening up and so dating casually being non-committal <clears throat> let me see what card is this okay being non-committal and maybe sometimes emotionally unavailable just became easier because on the one hand you got companionship, temporary companionship. You got somebody for a short amount of time, somebody that you, you know, want to do something with, hang out with, date casual. But then it doesn't go beyond that. Look at that. It doesn't go beyond that. Five of Swords. And you've really, really thought about whether or not you're ready to trust someone again. Well, the angels are saying yes. Stop fighting it. Stop fighting it. You're strong enough. You're capable. But do you want to trust someone? Do you want to put in the work into going that extra mile? Judgment, 
and the eight of wands doing what you know changing your behavior so that your partner that's two fives five of pentacles so that whoever it is that you want to date never has to worry you know, it's not just about you trusting one other person or some other people or whoever it is you want to be with. It's also about whether or not you want to be that trusting and trustworthy partner for someone. Where you let go of all the casual dating. Where you know that you need to be completely truthful and honest with someone. Look at that. Look at that. Ace of Swords and the Lovers. See... What I'm getting a sense of here is that you're ready to try to be in a relationship. You're ready to try something new. I don't feel, I don't feel that, I don't feel that a lot of you are thinking or contemplating on going back with someone. Few of you, yes. Not all of you. What I'm feeling here is that you're ready to get back out again. You had a tough relationship that you were in. Was absolutely draining. They cut you down so badly. And you trusted them with everything. They were your partner. They were your life partner. They were who you thought, if I can't trust them... What, who can I trust? They broke you down. They broke down your ability to trust anyone else, but including yourself. You had to second guess yourself. You had to wonder, am I strong enough to move forward? A lion looking up to a unicorn, weakened by a unicorn, right? A lion is all powerful. This the strength card here isn't like your traditional strength card. But that lion in this card who should be the most powerful animal feels weak. They've lost their sense of self. They've got so much self-doubt. They're not sure how to move forward. And it's taken you some time to finally get out of this. Because this is why you're starting to change. You're starting to realize, wait a minute, I'm a fucking lion. Right? And maybe some of you have Leo in your chart. And this recent Leo season may have lit a fire under you that says, you know what? Nah. I'm not going to be cut down that way. I'm not going to be made to feel like shit. I'm not the one with the trust issues, or maybe you are, but I feel as though Capricorn, you were with someone who didn't trust you. They were probably the ones with the trust issues is what I'm feeling. It could be vice versa. Remember, this is a general reading. Every move you made was scrutinized filled with doubt by your partner, already accusing you of something going on. Whether there was or wasn't, that's on you. You know the truth to that. I don't feel as though you were completely innocent here either. But that type of trust issue and behavior from your partner got you to subdue yourself, to subdue your strength, to then change the person that you are. You sacrificed who you truly were to maintain this relationship until it, it was no more. And so you've been straight up single, Capricorn, whether it's been for a few months or a few years. But you're healing and you're releasing yourself from it. And you say, you know what? It's time I get back out there. It's time I take a look at whatever trust issues that person had. Were they mine? Were they theirs? Did I play a part in it? And what did I do? And what am I not going to do in the next relationship? Because I think I'm ready to start seeing someone new. 
I think I'm ready to start over again. For some of you who have been feeling left out in the cold here with the Five of Pentacles, you do want to go back to your partner. Because it was you who may have created these trust issues. And so you want to come in speaking your truth. And you want to heal this relationship with honesty. So if you've been single for some time and you're thinking of going back to your ex because you were part of the problem, you acknowledge it, you're both maybe feeling like this, left out in the cold, it's time to move on, it's time to move forward, I need to fix this, I need to get back with them, this is a positive time for you to get back together with someone if this is what you truly want. If it's not what you want, it's quite all right. Because you've let it go and you've realized that, you know, that relationship had some major ups and downs, but it changed who I am. And it made me realize my faults, but it also made me realize this isn't who I am, this person who I've become because of this relationship. And so your love oracle message here for you singles, look to your inner strength. You are stronger than you realize. What a beautiful card and a beautiful message. That is card number 11. This is a very, very powerful message to you straight up single Capricorns. Look to your inner strength. Take back your life, your fire, your path your power you are this powerful lion you just forgot momentarily right master number 11 sends you a very strong message to look into your inner strength one plus one is two you are ready for this new partnership whether it is to heal an old relationship and try again or whether it's to heal from it and realize you are now ready to move on to something better. You've realized your own truth. You've realized your own strength. You've realized, I deserve this. That one maybe didn't work out for some reason, but it taught you something, right? It taught you something. And now, your takeaway, you get to move forward in a much more stronger way with a much more stronger sense of self. You know what you want, and what, most importantly, what you don't want in a relationship. So that was your reading singles, Capricorn singles, straight up singles. I hope that was helpful. I hope that resonated. Please like, share, and subscribe if that was something that resonated with you. Oh my goodness, let's move on to Capricorn couples, married couples, serious relationship, partnerships, oops, dating, and this may resume, resonate with some of you in-betweeners who are kind of in between. Yes, no, you've been dating someone, hoping to make it more serious. It's, you're not quite single. You're not quite committed, right? This will also be for you. Okay, here we go. Capricorn couples. September 2018. What do we got going on, Capricorn couples? All right, what's going on, Capricorn couples? Did we heal from the craziness? The craziness of August. You guys had some tough readings. Did we release ourselves from those obsessive, toxic energies? Capricorn, couples, partnerships, September 2018. What do we have going on? Free yourself. So did you? Did you free yourself from those crazy energies of August? You guys had the most going on, the most views. 
on my channel. So much craziness. Yes, so much craziness. Free yourself from the freaking deception. Capricorn, couples, what is going on? Wow. Okay, we're still learning, Capricorns. You're still you're still transitioning. You're still trying to move forward, right? Still trying to figure things out. Again, I feel as though <clears throat> the singles and the couples might, you know, be one full love reading. Some of you are contemplating being single. Some of you are in-betweeners who have a, taken a break from your partner. Who have broken up, who have separated. You've decided to free yourself from the bullshit, the craziness. You've realized this isn't a healthy relationship. Someone that loves me isn't going to be this crazy. Own your truth. Look at that. Ace of Swords. So we are blending in the singles with the couples again this time. Free yourself. Admit the truth to yourself. Okay. Look at that. Wheel of Fortune. Page of Pentacles. You've got a new path that's going to be offered to you. The universe is pushing you to something better. You deserve love. Remember that. Someone here is wearing a false self mask in this relationship. It's time to fight for what you want for yourself, for the life you so wish, the partnership you want. You may have a partner or have had a partner who's not about love but control because they confuse the two. I just care about you so much. They need to know every single thing you're doing, every second of the day. Trust issues, deception. That's not love, honey. That's unhealthy, toxicity, negativity. Oh, dear God. Excuse my sniffles. I've got a little bit of a cold here. So... Free yourself. What are you freeing yourself from? This deception going on. Let's have, oh yeah, see? It originally flipped upside down, but landed right side up. So third party situation. You already knew this was going on, whether this was you or your other partner. Someone had a backup. Someone had a backup. Someone had another partner. Somebody was going to do whatever the fuck they wanted. If they wished to have two partners, so it was. There was cheating. There was drinking involved when it came to cheating. Oh, yeah, look at that. Sexy time, drunk ass sexy times. That's what was going on. Whether it was you or it was happening to you. That king of pentacles there, who was probably being the workaholic, doing whatever it needed to happen, trying to hold the fort down. While all this bullshit was happening behind your back, deception, deception. Free yourself from this bullshit. You knew this was going on. Do you call this love? You deserve love, right? For all the work you've put into yourself for this to happen, for all the work that you've put in this relationship and partnership, Six of Swords, you deserve love. It's time to put the work into yourself now. Heal and move forward. You deserve love. You deserve to be in a loving relationship, in a healthy relationship, in a healthy partnership. Look at that, Two of Cups. I can't make this shit up, guys. Capricorn, you've turned a corner. You know, last month was eye-opening for a lot of you. I've got, I got so many messages last month for you Capricorns. Free yourself from the deception because you deserve love. I mean, come on. You're watching me shuffle. I can't make this shit up. I've cleansed my decks. I've done all this bullshit. Look at this. Nine of wands in the chariot card. This is your struggle of trying to move forward. This is you taking a break. Saying, man, I've really, really had to fight my way out of this 
bullshit relationship. So I'm speaking to a lot of you that maybe are still married but separated, who are coupled up, separated, broken up, in between, decided to end your relationship, partnership, marriage, but can't move out yet or are in the process of moving out. This is you looking back, battle fatigued, exhausted from all all the battling, the fighting. You have been emotionally weakened for some time. But it's time to stop looking back and start moving forward and looking forward. You deserve love. You deserve a loving partnership calmer waters i really feel capricorns that you all have just dropped some weight you're ready to you're ready to drop the weight oh my goodness yes look what flew out that queen of pentacles okay i like it i like it you've got the king and the queen with the two of cups capricorn you guys are ready you finally realized you know what i've entertained this bullshit for far too long it's time to have that conversation. It's time to take action. And for those of you that it does not apply, don't send me messages saying, you are so wrong. Obviously, I'm not reading just for you. This resonates with lots of people. All my videos do. Does not mean that every Capricorn is going through this. So a few cards flipped over. It was the Five of Cups, Queen of Wands, and Six of Cups. You may be feeling a little bit emotionally distraught. Remember, these energies can go vice versa. Ultimately, you are ready to move forward. It's taken you a while to realize that you're a good person. You deserve love. I have more to offer someone who will take me. This person doesn't want me in terms of having a loving, healthy relationship. They just want to control me. Do I have any more cards for Capricorn couples? Oh, yes. Ten of Swords reversed. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You've been hurt. You've been stabbed in the back. You've been betrayed. Bullshit's been going on in front of your face and behind your back and you just kept going on like you were just working your ass off to support your household, to support your wife, to support your kids, whatever, whoever it may be, while the other person was running around behind your back. Ten of Swords reverse means done. Done with the bullshit. Peace out. Moving out. Starting over. Fuck you. Don't want anything to do with you. Thanks for nothing. Moving on. I deserve love. So Capricorn, if that's you, you're going through that, more power to you, honey. Remember, you are strong enough to do what you got to do for yourself. Love yourself. Make the right choices, the right decisions. That is your reading. Sorry, for September. For September couples Capricorn couples September 2018 let me close this out with a love oracle message wow okay I normally don't take two to three but those just flew across I'm gonna give them to you okay yep I knew I had to give them to you love who you are you are divine and wonderful person deserving all of the wonderful things that life has to offer. Someone seriously broke you down, Capricorn. They made you feel like you weren't shit, like you were worthless, like you were lucky to have such a horrible person in your life. Love who you are. Know your worth. Love yourself and get the fuck out of a toxic relationship unless you like that sort of thing. That's on you. I'm not judging. Romance. Lavish the one that you love with your personal attention and affection. And it starts with you. For those of you not going through this toxicity, for those of you who are dealing with deception of another kind, who need to free yourself from deception that has been affecting your relationship, 
that has come between you and your partner where you've lost your romance. There's your message. Lavish the one that you love with your personal attention and affection. And slow down. When you are excited, you get ahead of yourself. Take some time to allow things to unfold. So for those of you that are the in-betweeners, right? In-betweeners who are like trying to figure out what your next move is. How do I move on from this? How do I move forward? What do I do next? Slow down. You're on the right path. Take care of yourself. Don't overextend yourself. Keep moving forward. Don't get me wrong. I'm not telling you to stop. I'm not saying stop what you're doing. Slow down. Take your time. Allow the universe to continue guiding you. Listen to your guides. Above all, keep moving forward. Okay, Capricorn, that was your reading for September 2018. Thanks again for everyone who has liked, shared, subscribed, sent me emails, booked personal readings, sent me, you know, birthday gifts, wishes. You guys are awesome. You guys are the best. Um, all my information in this is in the description box below. If you'd like to book a reading, Virgo Angel Tarot at gmail.com. Uh, for those of you that have reached out and asked if I had an Amazon wish list or PayPal, that'll be in the description box below if you choose so. Um, again, thank you so much for all your support. I sure do appreciate you. You guys have no idea how amazing this has been. So there's your reading, Capricorn. I'll probably come back on a mid-month check-in. In the meantime, you can find me on Instagram.com at Virgo Angel Tarot, where I post daily and I do weekly live readings if you want a little bit of a sneak peek. Okay, so talk to you later, Capricorn. Wish you the best. Bye.